Hello everyone, and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be talking about DYDX. Now recently, DYDX airdropped their governance token to non-US based project users, and the airdrop size was massive in US dollar terms, so some people reported that they received hundreds of thousands of dollars of the DYDX token. Now DYDX is essentially a decentralized exchange that mainly lives on a layer 2 called Starkware. Now because DYDX is on an Ethereum layer 2, that means the transactions are almost instant, and the transactions are actually gas free, so you don't have to pay anything to trade on DYDX, which is a huge benefit. DYDX is also not like Uniswap in that it's not an AMM, so it uses a traditional order book model. In general, this can mean that there's actually less slippage for the end user, and it can just make for a better end user experience. Now, the reason why AMMs have become so popular is they're the most efficient to run on a layer one. So we can't actually support an order book model on a layer one blockchain like Ethereum. We have to do an order book on a layer two. Now on DYDX, there are some more advanced products like perpetuals and margin trading. So you can really do a lot with this platform if you're an experienced trader. Now we're on the layer 2 product which I'm going to be focusing on and I should note if you're based in the US you do need a VPN to access this site. So this is a test account for me and you can see I have about $75 in the account and if I just want to say purchase 0.1 ETH or so I can actually decide to use leverage up to 10x and that will give me exposure to about a quarter of an ETH just with that $75 worth of purchasing power that I have. Now DYDX is almost instant so I'll just hit place market order there and you can see it's all already filled so I'll just go over to the fills tab and you can see that buy order was executed so it is instant which is amazing so here I'm on the position tab here and you can see I have exposure to about a quarter of an ETH and you can see I have 10x leverage now and my liquidation price is about 2750 so very handy UI now because this is a perpetuals product there is a funding rate which is quite small for ETH here you can see that's the one hour funding rate but just something to keep in mind and I should note if you're not experienced with leverage and perpetuals please do your research on that I did want to show you here, you can see there are a ton of different pairs that you can trade. So the most popular tokens are going to be listed on DYDX's layer two solution. I would say it's definitely worth depositing some money here. Just a small amount is fine because the gas fees are non-existent and just play around with the interface and see if you like it. I am on a different tab here and I wanted to share with you DYDX's layer one margin trading solution for ETH. Now I suspect this is going to be not as popular, but the benefit here is US users don't need a VPN to use it. Now the downside with this product are that it's on layer one so it can be expensive and in addition the leverage is just less capitally efficient so I believe it's more expensive to lever up on the layer one product and you can also only reach 5x leverage which is a lot but it's more limiting than the layer two product. Again, this margin option, it looks like is only available for ETH, so I wouldn't be surprised if they're sunsetting their layer one product, but I did just wanna cover that briefly. So as I mentioned, DYDX just launched a token and airdropped it to non-US users. And I will link this article below that basically goes over all of the details that you need to know. Now, the short answer is this token is currently a governance only token, and they do intend to decentralize the product completely. Now, in addition, I did just wanna show you the inflation schedule, so you can pause this screen if you wanna review it or click the link, but essentially, only 5% of the supply is circulating right now and there is quite a bit of dilution ahead. Now this inflation is going to come from a few different sources as you can see and the main sources are going to be investors, team and future team members and they're also going to be from trading rewards. So here you can see I am on the DYDX token dashboard of sorts and I will of course link that below and this just gives a few important metrics. So you can see the circulating supply is about only 5% of the total supply and you can actually see how many of these tokens they've distributed today from trading rewards. What's really interesting about DYDX is they're essentially running in some ways a trading competition. So basically the more volume you contribute to DYDX, the more you trade and the better you do. Actually, they incentivize that with DYDX tokens. So I just switched over to my portfolio tab for the account that just made that swap that you just saw. And you can see that uh, I've paid about $1.65 in total fees. And they're actually going to compensate me for that trading and compensate me for those fees paid with as of now about 0.2313 DYDX tokens. Now that is also based on my average open interest, which was only $20 here. And my rewards are going to equal about $4 because DYDX is trading for $20 and I get about 0.2 of those DYDX tokens. So you're going to be seeing a lot of reports of DYDX just having a crazy amount of volume on the platform. And part of the reason for that is going to be because they're incentivized trading. So don't get too caught up in the volume that DYDX is doing over the coming weeks and months. 
just remember it is incentivized so there's going to be a lot of trades on the platform that normally wouldn't be there. Now I am back on the DYDX token dashboard and you can see here you can actually stake USDC to get a yield. So right now you're getting about 0.02 DYDX tokens per day on each $1,000. So I just did a rough calculation on what this APR translates to, and it's just over 14%. So you get a 14% APR on USDC paid out in DYDX tokens. I would say if you're bullish on the DYDX token and you don't want to buy direct exposure to it, this could be a good way to get your yield paid in DYDX and just to stack more of the DYDX tokens. So I know a lot of you are probably interested in speculating on the DYDX token just because it's getting so much buzz. So I did want to just briefly touch on that. So here we are on CoinGecko and you can see right now it's trading for about $20 and you can see the tokens done pretty well since launch. It looks like the token launched at about $11 and now it's at 20 just about a week later. And again, what's really interesting is you can see the circulating market cap is just under a billion, but because only 5% of the supply is circulating, the fully diluted valuation is about 20 billion, which is massive. Now I just switched over to Nansen and I did want to highlight one very fascinating thing here. So I just wanted to compare the DYDX token to Uniswap and really touch on how concentrated DYDX's holdings are. So if we look here, you can see when DYDX essentially airdropped everyone, and here are people claiming and purchasing the token. And right now, about 15,000 addresses hold DYDX. So just keep that in mind for a second, and I'm going to tab over to the Uniswap token page here. And what's really interesting is after the Uniswap airdrop, there were about 80,000 addresses that hold Uni tokens, and that is now up to about a quarter of a million. So a substantially higher amount of people hold Uni than they do DYDX. Now, of course, Uni has been around longer, but I did think it was interesting that just after the Uni airdrop, the UNI token was actually sent to over 80,000 addresses, whereas with DYDX, it's much more concentrated. You also want to remember that when UNI airdropped their token, there were a lot fewer participants in DeFi than there are now. Obviously, DYDX not being able to airdrop to US residents hurt a bit, but it still is a large disparity that I do wonder about. Now, I've just scrolled down to the top balances here, and this is all without team vesting and VC vesting, but you can see that a substantial number of what Nansen calls token millionaires hold large percentages of the token. Now before buying DYDX, uh, even knowing all of that dilution is coming up, I would definitely want to do my due diligence in the large token holders of DYDX right now. At the end of the day, a lot of these people are going to be up substantially and it's just the responsible thing for them to do to take profits, so definitely keep that in mind. Now of course you can also track exchange outflows and inflows to see who might be cashing out to fiat, so definitely something worth monitoring. Now if you want to try Nansen out yourself, I have a link below and you can also come in the Discord, we have a Nansen channel there and you can ask questions about different tokens or NFTs and get my thoughts on them, which are of course powered by Nansen Analytics. Now that is all I have to cover with you today. I think DYDX is a very innovative platform, but I'm very curious to see how all of this token dilution is going to factor into DYDX's token price. The DYDX token is purely governance, so it gets no fees right now, which is interesting. So it's really hard to model a valuation for DYDX, but I do think most people will purchase this token with the expectation that it will grant them the right to future cash flows, whether it's through fees or something else. With that said, I want to thank you all for watching. Please like the video and subscribe if you haven't, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.